You mentioned the Massachusetts tax, but it sounded like all they did was raise the top marginal tax. You phrase that as just like a surcharge on income tax past one one million dollars or whatever. Yeah, it's a wealth tax. Raising the top marginal tax rate on, on income tax is not the same thing as a wealth tax. No, 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 no. Well, okay. When people flee, what does that do to financial markets? What does that do to the like supply of financial capital? You tell me because capital flight okay, is a fucking myth in this It decreases. Country. It decreases the supply of financial capital. Okay, so it makes starting a business okay. harder. It makes investing harder. All of that harms long run growth. Here, uh, you, you look taxes, at that. You oh. look at that. You know what I? You know what I see? I see opportunity, dude. Three forms of taxes and say, well, this is the way they. This is your voice. <laughs> that they're economically inefficient? <laughs> okay, according to you. Do you agree okay. or disagree uh, that wealth taxes generally have higher avoidance rates than other taxes? They, yes. No, I do agree on that one. Do you agree or disagree that wealth taxes are generally more administratively difficult than other forms of taxation? As of now, this is why I want to implement Elizabeth Warren's fucking wealth tax. Yes. Do wealth taxes... Mm -hmm. Decrease investment. Do you think they're going to decrease investment and increase consumption? They, they, they might decrease investment, but the world doesn't revolve around investment, dude. Okay, does the decrease in investment lead to a long run decrease in GDP? Mm, I seriously doubt it. Do you agree or disagree that some of the burden of corporate taxes falls on workers? It is extremely minimal. This this art this fucking uh, type of economic system has been debunked. Anyway, was it okay? Right. Oh, no, so trick or um, economics. I didn't even mention the Laffer curve once, bro. But that, well, you're 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 effectively arguing for trickle down economics. I'll get Do it. You it's okay. Agree or disagree that the demand for eggs is probably relatively elastic. Dumb it down. Because <laughs> you don't know economics, you, yeah, don't, you, know. you don't know anything about economics. If you if you think no, that a but decrease it, in no, 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 because you're, not going you're, to lead it, to a listen, decrease in long run listen, GDP, you're just you, you, you think don't, that I don't know. You, don't, you you think that I don't know economics because you get your you call yourself a Keynesian, but you're actually not, dude. Bimmy, okay. you realize we're waiting on you, right? You you I'm, realize? I'm, trying to, I'm not gonna be able to turn on right now, brother. Okay, yeah, give me ten okay. minutes. I'm trying to awesome. start my stream. Then we'll go to opening statements. We'll go to opening statements. We're gonna give it over to Nonfon. You've got up to ten minutes to give us your opening statement and then we'll give the equivalent to your opponent. So go ahead, non-fun, take it away. Okay, hopefully I can do this less than two minutes. Okay, it's long. All right. I'm not opposed to decreasing inequality, nor am I in favor of giving money to the rich in hopes that benefits trickle down. However, this does not preclude that some taxes aimed at decreasing inequality have more constant benefits and harm the very people they're trying to help. There are many taxes, like a land value tax, that would decrease inequality and are economically efficient. But for this debate, I like to focus on three taxes that are not so economically efficient. Firstly, taxing unrealized gains taxes away more money than realized gains at the same rate since the money you pay on the unrealized gains every year cannot compound. Realized gain taxes also have a lock-in effect, which disincentivizes people from selling stocks that they already own and don't, don't discourage buying uh, risky or volatile assets. The value of stocks also comes in large part from companies, um, companies' expected future profits, which often fail to materialize. If IMB shareholders had been taxed on, un on their unrealized gains, um, the IRS would have taxed expected profits while leaving the shareholders to burden both the, um, both the tax and the losses later incurred from the rise of Apple. Therefore, taxing unrealized gains would disincentivize investing more than a realized, uh, a realized gains tax and incentivize people to hoard money under the mattress or with low risk or with low risk bonds, deriving the market of financial capital, particularly affecting high risk, high reward startups. Not only would such implementation of such tax likely decrease stock prices in the short term as people and companies sell off stocks to avoid paying future taxes, but long run growth would also suffer. The tax will also place foreign savers at a relative advantage, meaning there's more investment will come from foreigners, causing a reduction in America's income over the long run as investment returns flow to foreign investors over American savers. Second, the general rule of taxation is if you tax something, you get less of it. If you tax wealth, you get less wealth. You directly disincentivize investment and wealth creation, robbing the world of valuable companies and ideas harming long-run growth. Well, taxes also are notoriously hard to implement and difficult to enforce. That's why multiple OECD countries have repealed their wealth taxes. Some level of capital flight is inevitable, and rich people have all the resources to deploy an army of tax lawyers to avoid paying as much tax as possible. 
Not only does this make ineffective, uh, it, not only does this make wealth taxes ineffective at raising much revenue, but it increases deadweight loss as government as government and private tax lawyers play cat and mouse games of evaluating billionaires' wealth and their um, when their time could otherwise be spent in a more productive sector. It's sometimes suggested that a wealth tax would encourage investors to invest in more productive assets rather than low-yield bonds. However, the opposite is true. The fact that these investors have already chosen to forego the high-yielding investments suggests that the extra return is not enough to compensate them for the risk or volatility associated with those assets. Reducing the after-tax return of these investments with a wealth tax will only reduce the number of investors willing to accept high levels of risk and volatility. Well, taxes also show a small effect in inequality. There's a study that estimates the effects of a of a um, of a Swiss style wealth tax, which is a, it's a lower tax base than Warren proposes, um, and it's at like 0.3 percent. Would lower the post tax Gini coefficient by 0.004, and a Warren style wealth tax, which is a higher tax base and higher higher uh, higher rate, would only lower it by at most 0.0005. <laughs> Thirdly. Corporate taxes may be the worst of them all. Corporations are nothing but collections of people, and as such, the burden of these taxes falls on people, not corporations. The tax incidence of corporate taxes is divided between three groups, shareholders um, through lower returns and dividends, workers through lower wages and higher unemployment, and consumers through higher prices. Whoever you want to tax, a corporate tax is not the best way to do it. If you want to tax shareholders, tax capital gains. If you want to tax workers, tax wages. If you want to tax consumption, there are a number of better alternatives like a value-added tax or Bradford X tax. Corporate taxes also directly disincentivize capital investment, which also, again, decreases long-run growth. In summary, I believe these three types of taxes are so economically inefficient that it outweighs any benefit they could have on inequality, which is likely low anyways. Okay, thank you, Nonfon. We're going to give the floor over to Bimmy. Hey, Baldy, how you doing? Okay, oh, brilliant. Oh, dude. Okay, Hold go on. ahead. Go ahead, Bimmy. You oh, have right. one uh, second. To... One second. You have four minutes and thirty seconds. Go ahead. When it comes to unrealized, um, the probably the only tax that I do that I do agree that it's kind of it's very hard to implement, and we got. I I don't think I think we should find ways to do it. Better, but it's just never been actually implemented is the unrealized gain stack so that one i'm not even going to try to argue that shit is fucked but the wealth tax so you you, you went so non-front went to the swiss model we have we've had wealth taxes in america we had one in the in the fucking uh, 30s which was extremely successful right it go look at it if you don't fucking believe me but the, the one that i have right here we just had one in uh, massachusetts in um massachusetts did well tax um oh fuck there it is uh, massachusetts Mill millionaire tax wealth tax which was passed uh, by voters in 2022 has been called a success by some uh as an early victory the tax adds four percent charge into income over one uh, million per year and it is um first three quarters of physical year it brought 1.8 billion which is more than expected so you had like the Cato Institute and all the fucking right wing bullshitters saying that it was gonna you were gonna have a wealth fly, you're gonna have all this bullshit. Everything that non just said about the wealth tax didn't happen. They raised more money, um, which is more than expected. The money has been uh, um, earmarked into education and transportation and has helped fund programs such as free um, public school meals, um, improvements in public transportation and tuition free college education. It, here in fucking um, in um, uh massachusetts now uh where is it uh oh the myth the myth of um of wealth um flight wealth flight is an idea of that wealthy will leave the state or the state or the country um if taxes regulations come unfavorable it the myth has been used to prevent governments from raising taxes on the rich for decades research uh, shows a, a real world evidence suggests that taxing the rich will not result in exodus some reasons is why this include migration rate million um millionaires have slightly lower migration rate than the general population people rarely move when they when they've advanced stage it, they have an advanced stage in their career top income earners have often accumulated significant human and social um cultural capital where they live um location is very important in the world's richest people to place a great deal to do how to make uh where they're gonna make their millions 
I agree with non-front. Taxes are just a way, like, it's let's find better ways to fucking tax people so we have less wealth, income inequality. So we agree on that 100%. Corporate tax. Corporate tax. I mean, you're going to have to point at a certain, you want, if you want to use American history, when we had the highest corporate tax rate is when we had the highest growth, annual growth rate. 1960 to 1969 was the highest annual growth rate, um, economic growth rate in American history. T corporate taxes were, I think, 50%. Dude. We, it, Donald Trump's tax cuts cut corporate tax rate from 35% to 21%, and we had a horrific, we didn't have economic growth, but for the way, getting out of the way, but you know what they, these corporations did with the money? They just bought back their shop, dude, straight up. They didn't reinvest back into the company. You didn't have this growth that people say that it's going to happen. In fact, you are you are the one who argues for Bidenomics. Do Joe Biden wow. passed a 15, 15 minimum wage, um, 15 uh, minimum um, uh, corporate tax rate in the infrastructure bill. And it's been a very good success. You accumulate a lot of fucking wealth, dude. I don't understand. I don't know where you're getting that the, the metric that you're talking about, but in American history, it's complete. It's completely been disproven. In fact, the it, the 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 thirty tax seconds. Cut, uh, I'm done. Let's we'll continue. No, continue. You have thirty seconds. No, no, no. It's okay. I think okay. I said it. All right. Awesome. Okay. So we have our opening statements from the panelists. We are gonna go over to Nader. Okay. So Nader. We are trying something new, and I warned you ahead of time. Um, this question can be irrelevant to the topic. You've heard their opening statements. You know the prompt. You know the topic at hand. Go ahead and direct my, our pan One my, second. Uh, my, nephews, my nephews are here, so I'm going to be coming in now, but I can hear you guys. So. Okay. All All right. Right. I can hear you. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so um, we are going to direct the conversation, Nadar, and I'm just going to keep talking for like a minute or two until this dumb son of a bitch gets back. Um, All right. Yeah, so we are. We want to ask a relevant question or an irrelevant question. Basically, the panelists get to decide if they want to continue on that train of thought. So they can engage with your. They're going to have to engage with your question, but whether they continue the conversation moving forward is up to them, or they can direct it in any way they want to. So let's just. Holy shit, the irony here. PPG, someone who. By the way, chat. You can all interact with the debaters. You can ask trivia questions or direct questions for the entirety of the debate. And they are going to be asked immediately to the panelists. So, okay, right. Can I just call them retarded? You can do that if you want. You can, um, Thank yeah, you, if you guys want to do that. Okay, Nader, go ahead and ask your question. Okay. Um, why? Do you feel that there should be a different tax percentage based on a person's wealth or income? Why should everybody not pay a flat, say, 10% tax of their, their income? I, I, that is equality. That? Oh, um, I think that, um, I, I'm, I, I generally think that uh, wealth income inequality is complete. In, I don't know, generally think this is a fact. <laughs> wealth income inequality is, um, it's, it has horrific standards on, uh, for horrific like outcomes on the society. So a progressive tax, meaning people don't, don't get out of hand and accumulate too much wealth, which is going to foment wealth income inequality and you don't have these fucking problems would be a good thing. So I think the progressive tax is a good thing. Okay. Non fun. Um, there were arguments I've heard for a flat tax, but I would I would agree there probably needs to be a little bit of progressivity in the tax system just to make sure wealth inequality isn't too extreme. But also I would add um, just diminishing marginal utility. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, a million dollars of Jeff Bezos' income means a lot less than a million dollars to a, a homeless person. There's diminishing marginal utility to the dollar. Um, as your net worth increases. So we should probably tax a higher percentage of rich people's taxes than poor people's taxes. There's also an argument to be made that um, a as you get richer, you're probably taxing a greater percentage of economic rents as a proportion of their income. If someone is a multi-billionaire or whatever, they're probably earning economic rents from things like monopoly power. 
which you could argue sh should be taxed away um, more than more than poor people's money who aren't necessarily earning the same economic rents. Okay, right. So panelists, you can choose to uh, continue on that train of thought if you want to engage with one another, or you can but, um, take it wherever you, you want to. What do you think of the marginal tax rate, uh, non-farm? On what? Oh wait, actually, <laughs> speaking of that, I want I want to bring this up early. You mentioned the Massachusetts tax, but it sounded like all they did was raise the top marginal tax. You phrase it as just like a surcharge on income tax past one one million dollars or whatever. Yeah, it's a wealth tax. Raising the top marginal tax rate on on income tax is not the same thing as a wealth tax. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, this is what they're calling it, brother. It is a wealth tax, dude. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think it was on income. I think it's how much wealth you own. So I think if you own it, 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 like more than like a million dollars, I think you, you're going to get charged like 2% or some shit like that. But it isn't. I, I know what you're talking about. Like it isn't on income. I don't think it's on income. I mean, uh, the, the way you phrased it, I, I wrote it down. You said it was a it was like a surcharge on well, income tax. You um, you, I'm well, sure you, we could. Do you know about the Massachusetts tax? You could just read it. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we could look it up. But like, it, but when I talk about a wealth tax, I'm basically talking about a tax levied on your like net assets. I'm not talking about just a surcharge in income tax. There are issues with income tax, but like I, I have much less of an issue with income tax than I do with um than I do with wealth taxes. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. And there also, seems you mentioned... to be a yeah. There seems to be a disagreement or a misunderstanding between the two of you in the definition. In other words, non-fun is using the straightforward definition of what you would think of when you are talking about a wealth tax, and it seems like Bimmy is getting confused. So the, the expand on that. The Massachusetts tax is considered a wealth tax. Okay. When you say considered a wealth tax, what does it include? It says well, the, me, the further income comes up, the tax imposes a additional four percent charge in any income over one million a year. It, I don't think it's. I don't think this is a tax being levied on net asset and on net assets. I think it's just a, a higher marginal rate. So that's your problem on net assets. That's where you. What do you? Why do you think that's detrimental? Like why? Why is? Why would that be the problem? It, it, I don't think there's a good argument to be made that it raises revenue because of how difficult it is to evaluate billionaires' wealth. I think it again directly disincentivizes investment. Um, you're going to decrease long run growth. Um, I think when we look at billionaires, our problem shouldn't be that they that they invest a lot. That's one of the good things they do. I think the issue is their whatever there is an issue. It's their ludicrous consumption. So we should just be taxing consumption. Um, yeah. Taxing consumption of uh, taxing consumers. Uh, I mean consumption, yes, but that that taxes income you, regardless of where I... you got it from. Okay, let's go with. Okay, so it's income, right? But they they put the tax on the wealthy. It's a wealth tax, isn't it? The tax in Massachusetts, I think, was a four yes. percent increase in the top marginal rate on income taxes, not a tax levied on net assets. I'm sure as you know, okay. as the lefties love to point out, the way rich people avoid income taxes is that they can take their money in stocks rather no, than income. Wait, hold on, non-fun, non-fun. This is on the, the only tax that gains. affects the, the, the wealthy, right? It's a wealth tax. That's what it is. It It's an increase on the income tax. It's an additional 4% surcharge on the top marginal rate. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a tax levied on the you, net assets of, think, of wealth. What do you think taxes are? Like, okay, what do you think taxes are? We all pay taxes, right? But this particular tax is only paid by the very wealthy. And once you make over a million dollars, this tax will affect you. It's a wealth tax. It's a it's an income tax. <laughs> it's okay. That's it fine, brother. It was an increase on the top marginal I, rate I, of income taxes. Okay. It is my understanding. I, that's, fine. Read this. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I have an income. Everybody here has an income. But that tax only affects you once you pass a certain threshold. That's a wealth tax, brother. Okay, do you do you agree that Jeff Bezos avoids paying taxes because he takes his money in stocks rather than conventional income? I, that's what I. That's what I. That's why I didn't even want to fucking fight on the unrealized gains argument. I remember uh, Mike from PA had a, a good debate with like Destiny, so like I would point you guys to go watch that. I have no idea how we're gonna do that. That's very hard to tax that shit, right? I I wouldn't even pretend to know how to do it. But Massachusetts tax is a wealth tax. It once you it goes over a certain amount, which what we consider wealthy is a fucking of million income. dollars. 
You have a text. That's okay. fine. Okay, but so it's be, a wealth tax. Okay, Bimir, are you saying that as long as a tax affects the rich it's, and only the rich, then you would consider yes, it a wealth tax? That, that, okay. I mean, I hope everybody does. <laughs> okay, do you... It only affects I, I'm not here to debate. I'm here just to ask questions. So I'm a completely neutral party. So the idea is that do you consider... This is just a question. You, there's no right or wrong answer, according to me. Uh, do you consider a rich person having assets, so illiquid assets versus liquid assets, things that and income? Think, do you separate I these think... things? You can separate them. No, no. Do you separate you them? Do you? Use them? Okay, okay, sure. You sh there is, a, there's obvious, there's something different between them, right? There's difference between them. But materialistically, no, there isn't. They still have a lot of wealth. You should, you get, it's much easier. I guess that's what non wants to hear. I guess it's much easier to tax income than the assets that you're talking about. If one day we, it will get easier because I do admit that it's very hard. I will go with like, um, Bernie Sanders had a good idea when he was running for president where it's it's every time you, there's a, I think the Norwegian countries, the Scandinavian countries have a, um, a tax on fucking uh, Wall Street speculation. Like every time you do a little, every time you buy fucking stock Financial or trade or whatever. Tax. Sure. I think that, that, what do you think about that one? I, I went down a ton of it. I think there arguably should be a, a tax on um some short term financial transactions, um I but I, I was just, in like a time like my point it. is that it, my, my point is wait, just try to get, get okay. it. You know what I mean? Like I know what you're trying to say. Like, but that's still wealthy, brother, and it do only you, affects the wealthy. Do you acknowledge currently <laughs> that there are many ultra rich people who are able to I, um, yes. pay less taxes than like as a percentage I of their know. income? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. I acknowledge you understand that they have the point they're, of a wealth tax. <laughs> That's what makes wealth tax different from income. Is it, the point of a wealth tax is to is to try to get them to pay the same effective rate as as poor people. It's a tax levied. A wealth tax is a tax levied on their net assets in an attempt to get them to pay like the same effective rates. What you're talking about is just income tax. Uh, it's just a tax on your conventional income. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's move away from that. Do you, you think that that's gonna be bad, right? A tax levied on net assets. Um, yeah, yes. basically, yeah. I, th I think the cost. I, I think the cost outweigh the benefits. Yes. I I have no argument to that, dude. <laughs> Massachusetts is a fucking wealth tax. You, okay, you're, again, you're, it's your not argument, a wealth tax. I know it, it is a wealth tax, brother. You're arguing that there's tax. a difference between if you work in it is an income tax, but to the very wealthy. I don't know it's what to say. Additional surcharge, on okay. On yeah, the income big, tax. If you yeah, want to call, big, if you want to call it a, a um, if we instead want to talk about, if you want to pull out your own definition of wealth tax and say that's a wealth tax, that's fine. But the thing I'm concerned about is tax levied on the net assets one. of somebody above fifty million or whatever. You're, are you talking? You're specifically talking about Elizabeth Warren's fucking plan. That's what you're specifically talking about. Well, and considering it, no, a wealth, right? Just a just yes. a tax just a tax in that style that's a tax on the net assets of wealthy people okay, but that that's true a person with a million dollars is also a wealthy person if that tax is them. only levied to them but you're taxing them on income you're not taxing them on net assets hey okay, brother but that's you okay that's i don't are you giving me your opinion or what is what I'm is giving, this i'm telling you a fact the tax in michigan not, was an I additional four percent surcharge on the just, top just, marginal just, rate Oh, that's fine. It, but it's a wealth tax, right? It's only levied at the no. very wealthy. It's not yes. levied on your wealth. It's levied on your income. It's levied on high income people, but it's levied on your income, not wealth. Okay. Are you being like hyper specific, dude? Okay. You get your income, you accumulate that wealth, and then that's your wealth, right? Do you understand the difference? Yes. But you understand the wealth is not okay. being taxed there, just the income brother but it, it only affects the very wealthy i don't understand why yeah, it, it why, only affects the top marginal is, rate you, of income you, tax you share. want to describe wealth tax as what elizabeth warren was trying to tax we've never seen so it everyone agrees in fact, I would, hold on hold on well i would love to see it i would love to see it because we don't have the actual data right 
you get your fucking talking points from Cato Institute. You know, you, do you know, hold on. Do you know, like, the propaganda that was going on against this? I remember it very well. I'm, I'm, Cato how Institute many Cato Institute, Institute harm, things do you think I read preparing on. for this? Do you think I read? It, it was going to harm, it, it harm business. You were going to have Wellflight. You mentioned Wellflight, which is a myth. Um, you were going to have all this bullshit, and nothing happened. You had, in fact, it was a huge success. Wait, what are People you didn't about? leave, and they, you had... And, you're talking about the Michigan tax, which is not a wealth tax. It's a tax levy. It's an increase in a marginal tax rate. Okay, but it's just a wealth tax, dude. Mass it's not a wealth it's a very it's a tax. Wealthy. The, I, would, I would guess that a surcharge on the top marginal rate is going to lead to significantly less capital flight than um, a wealth tax. And, like, I would also say capital Why flight is probably that, the... Why would you say that, though? Why would you say that? Because they're it, because the wealth tax is a higher effective rate usually than just an increase in a marginal um, marginal income you, tax. Wait, even if what is the tax myth? Are, uh, what is the myth of of, of uh, wealth uh, wealth flight that you're gonna be taxed in a certain state or, or country and you're gonna bounce? You just made a fucking stupid ass statement, right? That's that's well, that's this what. Is stupid. Why? I literally why just said this... capital flight. Uh, okay. I, do you understand that even a, a, a wealth tax is going to tax people at a higher effective rate than just the income tax? Because on top of income, you're taxing what everything else they own. Okay, brother, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But the, 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 the argument, right, for capital wealth, for wealth flight, is that you're going to be taxed and you don't get these taxes if you just fucking move. People don't fucking move. You just made a stupid state. You have you have an argument for that? Where it has happened, you understand, where you've had a fucking tax, wealth tax, if we tax people, people, white, uh, if we tax people at a higher rate, they'll be more likely to move. No, no. Wealth flight <laughs> okay. is a myth. Yeah, I, you can keep saying that, but like, I, like, do, do you agree? I gotta grab a beer. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. I'll be right. <laughs> okay, let me write this out. He either disagrees that people respond to incentives. Okay, chat. Um, you can ask. No, he didn't leave. He's just gonna go and grab a beer. Um, chat. Don't ask timed questions. Timed questions come at the end of the debate. Direct questions come now. Go ahead. Continue. Okay, Bimmy. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Do you agree that people respond to incentives? People respond to incentives. Sure. Okay, you great, great. Sure, it Phenomenal. depends on what okay. you're talking about. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It depends on what you're talking about. In economics. It depends on what you're talking about. I mean, sure. But wealth flight has been debunked. I'm giving you a study. You want the study? Do you agree, yes or no, that people respond to incentives? Also, if your study's about Michigan. Okay, okay. you're you're trying to strongman me. Massachusetts. Right, um, there, of course, there is. There's, there, yes, there are many. Okay, right? do you agree? that wealth taxes would increase the incentive to flee uh, relative to other style of taxes? Mm, no. Do you agree that wealth taxes tax people more than income tax? That's fine, dude. You, okay. I mean, so you agree what do you want me to tell you? I, I, look, I, I mean, can, can I use, you should say, can I use like, like, can I just use like American history? Like we had higher taxes on all, way higher taxes on all rates, right? Corporate taxes. We didn't have wealth flight. We had wealth flight when we got fucking free trade deals, right? Like the state was completely bought and owned. You got NAFTA, CAFTA, trade relations with China. That's when you had wealth flight. You didn't have wealth flight just willy-nilly, brother. Just people were like, you know what? I'm not, it's too high, high, high a tax rate. I'm fucking leaving. And by the way, it, 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 wealth, wealth flight isn't a problem, dude. If you don't want to stay, leave. They won't. That's why it's a myth. Why? Okay. So you agree that wealth taxes are going to tax people at a higher effective rate than income taxes, right? Or almost any other tax. Did you really. just like not hear anything I just said? Like I, I'm you, just trying you to nail you down like, as one point. You're an American. You, you keep no, no, no. repeating Wait, dumb stuff. You're American, right? You, you're yeah, American. I appeal to history. You do know yes. that we had oh way higher tax rates. Yes. Hey, well, why didn't we have wealth flight? We probably did have some level. All I'm trying to get you to uh, agree with right now is that not, relative to income taxes, wealth taxes increase the incentive to flee. That's all I'm trying to get you to, to agree with. I've already told Bro, you. I'm okay. Look, that 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 is like that is a fucking unbelievably simplistic fucking statement, dude. It, it, okay, yeah. you should be able if to you agree tax with me, hold on, easily, hold on. If you tax me at two percent or tax me at three percent, 
that three percent i guess somewhere down in the back of my mind right i'm gonna be like oh man that one percent hmm okay i uh, sure that unbelievably little fucking little um difference sure it exists there you go non -front. okay Got great it. phenomenal okay we agree yes wealth taxes increase the incentive for capital flight phenomenal okay great um which is a myth you disagree that they increase the incentive for capital flight. I'll admit to you, that, like they've done studies on this, the, like the elasticity, the elasticity to taxation for capital flight is really low, and it's pretty low. It's even lower in the U.S. because we have such high, we have such a strong economy and such high consumer demand that there are a lot of companies that so will stay in the U.S. Why bring it up? Because I, I was trying, I'm nailing you down in the one point that wealth taxes increase the incentive to flee for capital flight. See, brother, but that is such like, oh my god. Like that is bad faith simplicity. That is that's well, bad faith okay, simplicity. Okay, dude. Like uh, again, we but we have history, right? And you again, you agree. We had way way more taxes than what we have now, right? So you're saying, and we didn't have capital flight. It, it's a myth. It's a factual myth, I mean, right? Probably we start we probably capital flight happened in America. Flight, but it, we, okay, but like made incremental capital flight. Capital flight happened in a huge way when we had these trade deals, right? That's when you had actual capital flight. This is a fact. I, I mean, America lost its manufacturing consider, power. Oh, I, manufacturing I don't want to get into power. the free trade stuff right now, but I, I don't consider, I don't no, consider lowering put, you, increased trade like capital flight. Um, Cause they're, they're it's for different reasons. Like lowering barriers to trade just lets the market work, work out. Um, like, it, basically, okay. If you lower yeah, barriers maybe, to trade, if maybe we have free you need trade to, deals. Can you quote this or, or cite this study that you're looking at, Bimmy, for the judges? Which one? I don't know. The one that you're referring to. Massachusetts? Yeah. Okay. Just you in the side chat. Massachusetts, Massachusetts wealth tax, brother. Okay. okay. Go on Google and put right. Massachusetts wealth tax. You're speaking directly <laughs> to the judges right now. You've told uh, who, them what to uh, do. who the fuck was it? Nader? No. Wait, okay. Just, okay, you continue. I, I just want to I, I kind of want to nail you down at one point. My argument is that wealth taxes will basically lead to nailed. a distortionary level of capital flight. They'll lead to a level of capital flight that won't have that wouldn't have occurred if the market was allowed to function um, unfeathered. Free trade just lets the market function um, as it as it should. That that like that's the discrepancy there. Is that well, wealth taxes well, are distortionary? Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you something. Should we? Should we? Because this is this is vic the victim mentality, right? This is the don't make me fucking beat you. Please don't make me beat you, mentality. If 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 they don't want to pay, if you you as a state levy a fucking tax, right? People vote for a tax, and these people leave, then then leave, brother. And if you can charge, if, if they have product or they don't want to invest, that's their fucking problem, dude. Right? What is that? That's their that do? Problem. Why do we have to? Why don't? No, no. This is like a side question. Why do you? Why is your answer always cowtelling to these fucking capitalists? Because when it's when you do that, you know you it's a race to the bottom, right? You know that's what you're doing. Okay. When people flee, what does that do to financial markets? What does that do to the like supply of financial capital? You tell me because capital flight okay. is a it fucking myth. It this decreases. Country. It decreases the supply of financial capital, okay? So it makes starting a business okay. harder. It makes investing harder. All of that harms long-run growth. Here, uh, you, these you look taxes, at that, you oh. look at that. You know what I You know what I see? I see opportunity, dude. If, if these people want to leave and not invest, I see other in investors who do want to come in and say, hey, there's still profit to make. This is, again, this is why it's a fucking myth. This is the argument of cap of, of why fucking capital flight, whatever, right, is, is a fucking myth. Because you're always under a capitalist system, there's always going to be profit to make. You're kowtowing to these fucking uh, people who have accumulated a lot of wealth. It's the victim mentality. It's the, please don't make me beat you, brother. See what I mean? It's a race to the bottom for everybody, dude. It only okay. fucking strengthens and fucking gives these people more and more wealth. That's your uh, That's your argument? More or less, there is a somewhat there's a fixed supply of financial capital if people leave the u.s or whatever the amount of financial capital goes goes down there's less supply of financial capital that makes it harder to start a business harder for businesses to invest in a harm flung on growth that's just me mechanically true you can say there's other investors which is which i mean it's true but the overall supply of financial capital 
goes down. Okay, wait, wait. Secondly, no, actually, secondly, let me ask you secondly, 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 a lot of um, the uh, what that leads to is more capital inflows to the West. It enriches foreign billionaires because now companies are servicing their needs for financial capital with uh, with foreign with foreign financial capital. That does two things. One, it means over the long run hold on, that guys, income hold on. income will sh hold, can I finish? Income will after, shift to after you, after you. okay. Income will shift to um, foreign billionaires and foreign investors over Americans' own local uh, labor force, right? Secondly, it um, increases what? demand for the U.S. dollar, which it appreciates it appreciates the value of the U.S. dollar, which means U.S. Uh, the U.S. exports less and we import more. That increases the trade deficit and decreases GDP. There you go. All right, looks like boss's stream crashed. Give him a minute. Yeah, I'll your stream crashed, boss. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, um, I'm still streaming, but yeah okay so it I, I did start recording as soon as it started crashing but okay um sum it up non-fun what you basically just said sorry about that man um yeah it is what it's it is just sum it up for the, foreign, for the foreign investors because we live in a, because his solution is you have to cowtail to these fucking all these lords right wrong, it's basically his, his his fucking argument is we need to cowtail to these lords no matter what this is the this is the um again it's the victim mentality dude when you don't really have to do that, capital flight is a myth. And if they want to fly, then fuck it. Let them fly off. Maybe you'll have some reduction on, on in the markets, right? Who cares, dude? Your job is to, your job as the state uh, here in America is to lower wealth, wealth income inequality, um, create infrastructure, create good standards of living. That's, you can do that without cartelling to some fucking capitalist, dude, that is only going to try to enrich himself. I don't okay. know what to tell you, brother. All I'm trying to prove to you here is that there's a there's a cost to these billionaires and rich people fleeing. There's a negative cost to um, capital Which flight. They don't do. That I understand the elasticity is low. Yes, I've already conceded the elasticity is pretty low. Okay, so then why are you making this argument? Because at some level of capital flight will occur, especially because rich people have all the resources they need. Like to offshore their uh, offshore their businesses. Yes, some level. I uh, like. Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? Well, Some oh, level. To to me, I would rather, I would rather ha tax these people, lower wealth, income inequality. It, the ones that don't leave, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some revenue. Do what, do what Massachusetts did, right? In, in, infrastructure, schools, water parks, everything, right? I would rather do that than cowtail to these people who have immense power and have you hostage, brother. That's what you're trying to say. When you say shit like that, you, they're not. We're not their hostages, man. We shouldn't just be cowtelling to these ultra rich. Okay. All I'm trying to prove to you is that there is a negative cost to, um, to billionaires fleeing, right? To this, to capital flight. That this wealth tax, when implemented, will have negative costs. Okay, that's what I'm trying to prove to you. So what are those With costs? Everything is that we do, flight? you're gonna have negative. You're gonna have positives, dude. It, yes, I mean, yes, it's... yes. The trade-off, okay. yes. So what I'm, uh, what I try to get you to admit, and it seems like you have to some extent, is that there is a negative cost there okay now you are saying that negative cost will be outweighed right. by non -fun, i have to stop you i have to stop you right you need to turn down that gain i know chat has told you to turn it up but you need okay. you need to lower it yeah that shit is screeching right. like mad I'll, I'll 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 monitor the voice if Wait, you need can, to go can, up, I, can, can can i get can i can Let, i get no some, like, you can't no, do no, anything no me. shut the fuck up Wait, i'm the one I who wanna, shut I your mouth perspectives. i will fucking mute you shut the fuck up he was on a point i interrupted him he's gonna finish his point Go ahead, non fun Okay, what you're trying to say, now that we agree that there is a cost there, you're trying to say that the revenue benefits will outweigh the cost. I don't think that's the case because one, I think you're underestimating the negative effects on long run GDP growth. Uh, I think the Tax Foundation did their study and they, I think they saw, I, I think it was 0.43% um, negative GDP growth. Um, non fun you want to talk about GDP? We're gonna talk about GDP. Okay. Are you, from, gonna, um, are you gonna bring up actual history? Yeah, I, I understand you're gonna feel the. Okay. You know, you anyway. know when we had when we had the highest GDP growth like yeah, annually yeah, 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 in, in the long run, yes. right? Okay, that doesn't change that yeah. mechanistically. It, it, wealth taxes decrease which, long no, run But we GDP had the growth. highest highest taxes, like uh, corporate taxes too. You don't like corporate taxes? We had the highest corporate taxes, dude. If FDR fucking had like ninety percent fucking sometimes corporate taxes, dude, and he he broke the record in American history. You guys can look it up. It was a, a fuck one year. He he grew the fucking economy ten percent GDP, dude. I'm sorry, bro. This argument doesn't hold water. 
Yes or no, do wealth taxes mechanically decrease long-run GDP growth? I don't, I don't know about that particular tax because that particular tax, brother, we, it just hasn't been tried in a, in a large scale. You know what I mean? I would love a fucking uh, it was for us to implement war, okay, uh, Elizabeth wait. Warren's fucking wealth tax, and then we can see what happens. We'll test it. That's what everybody was saying about the fucking tax in in Massachusetts. That's what everybody says about anything, right? You get fucking right wing propaganda. You get left wing propaganda. Why don't we just do it and we'll see the outcome? I, you think you have your opinion. I think it's gonna be fine. You won't have any capital flight. The people will just cry, bitch, and moan, but there's still profit to make. They'll pay it. Who cares? And nothing will change. You have uh, you you decrease the deficit. There you go. Do you think you decrease? Okay, investment? before you answer, non fun Before you answer, um, Lanius has paid for Mitas' oh, question. Fuck, okay, okay, here we go. No, All I right. love you. I love you, Lanius. <laughs> okay, so in MA. Okay, so both oh of you are going to respond to this, but um, this is for Bimmy. Okay, so. In AMA, so Massachusetts, they imposed a surtax on any taxable income over a million dollars. IRS data suggests that between 2021 and when he when the surtax was introduced in 2022, around 0.6% of the state's estimated income from taxes was reduced. And they are estimated to lose anywhere between 800 million and a billion dollars a year as a result how do you, you get in this wait, wait no no, no. because this wait have from, you need have you seen the new study the irs Did you how, see the, no 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 from the have irs you, data okay so how here's the question how do you justify capital flight not existing when your own sources disagree with your claim Mida, you haven't nope. seen the new new the new data to this right you're engaging you had with revenue no you had excess revenue are you about the same number that this motherfucker is bringing up you had it was a net game dude this is he's i know mida dude mida does this all the time he cherry picks some bullshit thinking that he has a fucking argument go look at the excess revenue of what was presumed to have a, i think it was like 1.3 billion they thought it was going to be 1.3 billion. It ended up being almost 2 billion. He's being a cunt. Okay. And by no, the way, hold on. No, 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 no. no. Wait, another point. Another point. Another point. What happened with that revenue that they picked up? They invested it. You had a wealth transfer. You might, again, I'm not, I'm not saying that there isn't going to be wealth flight. There's going to be incremental, like that is incremental money, by the way. You're going to have wealth flight, brother. You're also going to have other people coming in, right? Or you're going to have a net gain on, on that fucking tax. But the wealth that was transferred, listen to me, Mida, before you fucking start talking your bullshit. The wealth that was transferred from the rich, what they were able to get, the 1.9 billion, went into schools, infrastructures, parks, public parks, all good fucking things that improved the lives of Massachusetts. That's all that matters, brother. You got your metrics, I got mine. I think these are way better things than letting some couple of assholes accumulate a whole bunch of wealth. Suck my cock. Okay, let's give non-fun a chance to respond. Go ahead, non-fun. No, hold on, hold on. Um, but I want no, to, but you need can to we, shut your mouth at this point. But Diego's a fucking Marxist. I want his take. Can we, can we, get, he's a judge. No, Come on. no, no, shut the fuck up. Non-fun is I'm here. I'm going to go get up here. I can you. hear you, non-fun. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I mean, I haven't, I haven't read the data on capital flight from Massachusetts, but I mean, that's, that's funny that, 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 that is the case. But again, um, like this is not a wealth tax. I understand PPG has its own special definition of its wealth tax, but, um, it, it was just a surcharge on taxable income. The, the reason wealth taxes are proposed is because billionaires have lower taxable income than regular people. That's the whole issue that wealth taxes are trying to solve. So, yeah. Okay. I agree with what he's saying. I agree. This is why I agree that we need better ways of doing things. Th this wealth tax that he's talking about, the Elizabeth Warren wealth tax, it just hasn't been tried, brother. It just hasn't. Maybe okay. we should yes, try I'm it. Aware. We'll see the outcomes. Right, and then you're gonna have a fucking Cato Institute bring up some fucking study, and non gonna be like, oh. when then if you actually dig a little further, it's like, oh, they left out this, 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 which is what they do, and then you're gonna be, oh, wait, they were full of shit. That that's what. But I, okay, you know Bimmy? what? But the reason True. we can't try it is because it doesn't happen. 
Anyway, hold on. I want a Marxist view. Can we give a Marxist view? No, you Just can shut the fuck up. The judges do not intervene. Shut the fuck up. We've got a question for you, Bimmy. Why do you no. think TB doesn't have any chatbots? Why do you, what the fuck is a chatbot? <laughs> and what, what as a follow-up, Bimmy, why are you mm -hmm. gay? Um, spelt, I'm not spelt, gay. spelt with G-H-E-Y. You have to add those at the end so people don't ban your ass. Um, okay. I was, uh, I've never been gay, but if I was gay, uh, Hassan. Okay. Hassan. But, what? Yeah. Nobody Hassan. asked you that. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we're going to bring in, here we go. No, uh, Potate. You're coming in now. I, he's not gonna help me. I just want a, a, yeah, a because freaking... you guys are going in circles. If I let you continue, Wait, no, I just gotta okay, nail it down. Finish on one up, point, please. All right, finish okay. it. If you think yes he's gonna no. budge, go ahead, Bimmy. Do well taxes mm -hmm. decrease investment? Do you think they're gonna decrease investment and increase consumption? They 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 might decrease investment, but the world doesn't revolve around investment, dude. You can do a lot of things with the revenue that you're gonna come that you're gonna be able to accumulate to help the general population, which we desperately need in America, dude. In many things, medical debt, student debt, med whatever, dude. So I don't care, I don't wanna fucking be curtailed by these lords. Why the fuck do we need to fucking do whatever they want, dude? Oh, don't do this because I'm just gonna move my investment somewhere else? Fuck off, brother, that's my take. Okay, does the decrease in investment lead to a long run decrease in GDP? Mm, I seriously doubt it because it, I know American history and in American history, there wasn't a lot of investment, especially in the fucking 1930s when when there was a huge wealth redistribution from the from the capitalists to the fucking working class and it exploded GDP. So I don't think so, man. Where are you getting these fucking data? I know where you're getting it. Now, but... Hold on. <laughs> I'm Nothing sorry, I'm I quoting right now is data, okay? <laughs> All I'm trying to, I'm, I'm talking about like, uh, like me mechanistically, right? A decrease in investment will lead to a decrease in long run GDP. If we're investing less, if we're investing less in capital stock, in, in capital infrastructure, we're, we're, Wait, it, it is going to lead to a long run decrease in GDP. That's the point I'm trying to get you to prove, er, to get you to agree well, on. Okay. Nothing I'm asking well, 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 is, is data well, right now. GDP is a, G GDP is, 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 okay. Okay, that's I know I I mean, in my opinion, no. Because okay. I know history. Because well, you don't know economics, <laughs> you, don't, don't know. You, you don't know anything about economics. If you if you think no, that a but decrease it, it, in no, 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 because is you're, not going you're, to lead it, to a listen, decrease in long run listen, GDP, you're just you, you, you think don't that I don't know. Stump. You don't, you you think that I don't know economics because you get your you call yourself a Keynesian, but you're actually not, dude. You're fucking. It's it's a mixture between Keynesian as in maybe some social reforms, with let the market be dude just let the fucking market be that's i don't think that's keynesianism and it definitely wasn't keynesianism when it was first implemented N at all not even close i'm sorry brother so you have your economics i have my economics <laughs> not how economics work i i'm just it do you know what do you know what the phillips curve is the what the phillips curve i don't know what the phillips curve. can, can you, you describe to me, me what elasticity is I, you you tell me. What are the components of GDP? <laughs> what, what are the components to the GDP? Okay, I was just I was just trying to prove that point. Okay, all right. Okay. Bring potato in if he wants to say you something. Got it. Um, Bimmy, what does GDP stand for? Uh, growth. GDP growth. I I don't have the fucking definition on me, dude. Here, let me okay. Google real quick. Yeah. Okay, let's take it over to Potate. We're going to bring I, listen, in Potate. But, but, but regardless of what it is, I know that it's a measure that we use, right? And I know that when we had higher taxes, that measure exploded. Not when we were curtailing to the market, which is what Nonfront opposes. You guys could look it up. The, the highest annual GDP growth rate was from 1960 to 1969. It was 5.9%. And the highest year, the year we ever had, was 10%. It was under FDR. All high tax, fuck, extremely high tax fucking uh, circumstances, right? We had high taxes in those eras. I'm sorry, but his his model does not lead to higher growth of GDP. This is bullshit. 
Femi, do you think I disagree okay. with what you just said gotcha. about the highest GDP growth being in the, when we had high marginal tax rates? No, no, no. We had higher marginal tax rates. We had corporate tax rates. We had FDR did a wealth tax. I'm aware. Well, you, again, you, yeah. It's fucking work. Okay, Damn, we can come back to this. We can, okay, Damn, if I let you guys go on. Yeah, I'm going to okay, let you. Potato, okay, potato. Just give it to the potato. Okay, right, I got to take a so, piss. Okay, so Patei, we're going to bring you in. You're going to interrupt the, the conversation and you're going to ask the debaters a question. And obviously they're going to choose if they want to continue after they answer the question, but obviously they have to answer it first. So go ahead and ask your question and we'll give it over to Nonfon to respond first. The first question that I had was actually aimed towards uh, PPG. So we'll just go ahead and do the... Uh um you're cutting out a little yeah. bit so try try my, my apologies yeah okay so go yeah, ahead so and my, my first the... my first question was aimed towards ppg uh my second question is aimed towards not just got one question or okay one uh, uh yeah one question yeah. for <laughs> shit okay yeah. uh my i really got to get my first question out then what are the policies that can be put in place to make sure that these taxes can be effectively implemented or not avoided? Are you asking that to me or Bimmy? Asking asking that uh, to PPG. Okay. What are the tax? I mean, we. I mean, it, like you would need the state to be functional, right? So Joe Biden right now, believe it or not, he has the most functioning I, uh, IRS that we've had in a yeah. long fucking time, dude. <laughs> They've been able to accumulate a lot of fucking taxes. You're always going to have loopholes, brother. Loopholes are always going to be there, right? People are going to try to cheat on their taxes, do all kinds of shit. You need the power of this, the, 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 mo the monopoly on violence to come in and say, oh, you're, no, you're not going to do that. That's how you do it. <laughs> you need a competent okay. government and you need a competent state and you need some good institutions that will implement, to, that will force those laws. Do you agree okay. or disagree uh, that wealth taxes generally have higher avoidance rates than other taxes? They, yes. No, I do agree on that one. Yes, that's what do I mean. You, okay, I mean, it, like, yes. No, I do agree okay, on that one because point. they they can, they have, like, these motherfuckers are global capitalists. But I also don't think that you that we should kowtow to these fucking worms like you want to do. Okay, because do you agree? Their, 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 their objectives is to gain profit, right? They're not here to invest in small companies. They're not there to do any of that bullshit, dude. Do you agree or disagree that wealth taxes are generally more administratively difficult than other forms of taxation? As of now, that's just why I want to implement Elizabeth Warren's fucking wealth tax. Yes, as of now, because we had a shift in our economy, brother. It happened in the fucking 70s and 80s, right? You had right. a shift in the economy. We it, we went from an income-based economy to having uh, people own much more stocks, the one percent own much more stocks, and and they use capital whatever in capital gains and then use loopholes, and it's very hard for us to fucking try to do something to them on that area, right? But I, again, why don't we just try and see what happens? I don't okay. understand why you're giving me your opinion. Why don't we just try? You say as of now, but do you agree or disagree? that it's always going to be harder to evaluate a wealthy person's entire net assets than it is to evaluate somebody's, um, say, income. We're, we're in agreement on this issue. This is why I didn't want to debate uh, uh, unrealized gains, because unrealized gains, it's something that we haven't tried, dude. It's, a, it's something yeah. that America just hasn't tried. But then again, then again, we didn't try that. We didn't try a 90% fucking... Uh, a 90%, um, what is it? A 90% marginal tax rate until the fucking 30s. And it was hugely successful. Your argument is just don't do it because it might be wrong. That's a dumb <laughs> argument, dude. Yeah, that's definitely my argument. Okay. A, you realize okay. that wealth taxes are taxes on unrealized gains, right? Like a wealth tax levied on somebody's net assets no. is a wealth including tax unrealized is gains of their stock portfolios. That's, okay, Two, well, that's your opinion. That's not, that's how well, I understand you have your own special definition of wealth taxes, but taxes levied on somebody's no. net assets <laughs> is also a tax on unrealized gains. Secondly, I like, 
uh, somebody's net assets is always going to be harder to evaluate than just somebody's income or just somebody's property tax because all these things are in somebody's net assets, right? Um, and there are huge issues, especially with private equity, of how you value somebody's net assets there. And that problem is especially true for rich people because they're the ones who fold the tax lawyers who can who can fight with the IRS about the true valuation. See, everything that of you're these, saying, everything that you're saying is and then it, also, you're, you're, see, you're, it's not it's not that it doesn't work. Is that they have the power under the corrupt American system to avoid these taxes? To which I tell, yes, dude, yes, you're right about that. Why don't we just bring in a functioning state and force them to do it the way we've done it in the past? Your argument is just the way the system is right now, horrible and terrible. It's been, it was like that for a long fucking time, brother. And we changed from one to the other, right? That's your argument. Yeah, they're gonna get lawyers. Okay, then fix the judicial system, dude. So they won't fucking do what they're doing, brother. Your, your argument, argument is, is it, it's... Go ahead. My argument is wealth taxes are always going to be more administratively, administratively difficult than like almost any other type of tax. That, that's my argument in this respect. And the, the, that administrative difficulty results in direct cost. Like it makes the actual cost of implementing the tax much higher because you have to pay all these new IRS agents to go after these wealthy people. <laughs> that is A, I mean, it's all what dead weight loss, do and B, Good. it undermines Fuck the it. effectiveness of the tax at raising revenue. Like, that's why most places that don't have, that have wealth taxes, they don't raise much revenue. Um, wealth taxes the are problem, not super the, great at raising the, revenue. The, let me tell you this, Second, because wait, I just want to cite, I just wanna cite wealthy... one thing. Can I just cite one thing? Like, as an example, we can look at estate taxes. Estate taxes are just wealth taxes. They're just wealth taxes that occur one singular time um, after somebody has died and they gift their estate to their kids or whatever. If you look at like people who die in the 400 list, um, the taxes they pay on their estate, their estate is usually valued 40% less than what Forbes value them at. So that's evidence that wealth taxes will have very high avoidance. And there's also other countries that we can look at where wealth, tax, wealth taxes had very high avoidance. Yeah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know about uh, 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 buy, borrow, die? Yeah. In, does that affect it, 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 what you just said right now? Not particularly. And the very rich who own that type of capital tend to do bar. Buy, borrow, die. Pretty much yeah. every, all of them. True. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so then it doesn't affect them, right? What do you mean it doesn't affect Are you them? You're talking about a wealth like, tax would affect that. You, I, I'm. You realize the die part of buy, borrow, die. Like the die, they're taxed on the dying. That's what the estate tax is. What is bar, borrow, die? Okay, buy, borrow, die. Basically, rich people get their income from things like stocks, from like assets that appreciate, and they can borrow money, they can take out loans with the stocks or whatever as yeah, collateral, yes, and, and they never pay yes. the capital gains taxes on those assets that are appreciating. And then when they die, they can pass their uh, estate onto their kids, who then don't but pay the capital gains tax, but they do pay, they do pay yeah. the estate taxes on it. Which is why I'm in favor of relatively high estate taxes, by the way, but... The debt tax you're talking about, right? The state taxes. Death they tax, call it, yeah. the Republicans call it the debt tax. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I mean, I agree with you. Again, my point is that we just have never tried it, but why don't we just fucking try it and see who's right? Because we just haven't, haven't tried it in America, okay. dude. A, we don't know we, how it's going are... to work many states that have tried wealth taxes most of them repealed them are we are seeing are more paying? states implement wealth taxes um implement wealth taxes now like massachusetts what? secondly there are there, a lot no, of wait, OECD this is what countries. i wanted to tell you oh my god this there, is what i wanted are, to tell you though okay. uh, um hold on hold on let me, let me cuz i forgot, i remember the question Magna. um you do know that the, that we are becoming a, a, a much more um unequal society right like completely like now the 1% own like what is it, like 50 to 50 to 60% of all fucking wealth in the country, right? And the 0.001% own like I can't remember the number, it's a horrible number, right? We're becoming much more unequal, right? And this is this is their path. Their path is in 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 holding it holding buying stocks, doing these in in stocks like whatever, right? So how do we tax them, brother? If they're accumulate they're accumulating so much fucking wealth in that area how the fuck do we tax them? So there are a few different taxes that I would uh, I would propose. I'm not entirely against just a realized capital gains tax, so they pay capital gains when they uh, when they realize to realize the um, realize the gains. Um, there are things like a land value tax. There is tax loopholes. That, 
share it. Like, okay. Bar by bar die. <laughs> like, or, yeah, but uh, like, I, there are. I don't like. Again, I think the what I'm arguing is that the <laughs> there like the benefits outweigh the cost of the or, or sorry the cost outweigh the benefits for these alternatives because so, because if you do anything to stop buy borrow die or whatever you're just you're going to decrease net investment and you're going to decrease long run gdp and any tax aimed at like taxing these unrealized gains is going to have various other negative effects i don't think it's going to be very good at raising revenue but there are a few different taxes that like um that are proposed that would probably de decrease inequality for example like a land value tax is a simple one tax on the value of land uh, you could have that be very high it would it would discourage rich, pe rich people from land banking it would encourage building affordable housing um things like that yeah um there there's something called like a there are various different types of like consumption taxation which is taxes consumption regardless of where you got the income from there are types of progressive consumption taxation like a bradford x tax which taxes consumption progressively um yeah and also no, i agree I, with you on that on the, i just want to mention so there are these motherfuckers buy a lot of shit right so you've got to get them there it, like if they they buy houses they buy cars tax what they're trying to buy like you know yachts and whatever you, you could well sure because i, I think we should tax what they're trying to buy we should tax consumption regardless of where yeah. people got the money from um and no no, no but i think not necessarily you don't think, tax well, i mean in a higher like, rate right i would say at a higher uh, rate for like, progressive if it, it, i mean yeah yes, progressive consumption progressive. yes uh, anyway also i just want to mention okay, austria denmark up. germany right, finland iceland show? luxembourg ireland and sweden all chose to repeal their wealth taxes yeah in the past. because they're no no but that's 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 a political reason brother because they're moving okay. away from their, their okay, okay. Yes, all right. they are. okay okay we have a question we have a question okay we have a question from the audience okay so the question is does PPG believe Noam Chomps Noam Chomsky has his no, wealth? That, that, no, it's no, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah. Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky in front of me, bro. Noam Chomsky has his wealth held in a trust that helps his inheritors avoid paying maximum amount of taxes this, and avoids probate. Brother. Avoiding Brother. probate brings on an individual to level. The on an individual kid. level. Everybody tries to avoid taxes, including me, <laughs> right? <laughs> On an individual level, but that's beside the point. What we're arguing is actual. I probably shouldn't have said that because the fucking judges. Oh, point, especially potato. <laughs> like, but okay. everybody well, tries to avoid paying now. taxes. That's that's something that you do. But that's the effect. We need an effective state to, like like potato said, a, a strong IRS. And may, let's try to find ways to ah, like, yeah. you know, not avoid taxes. Thank you. Okay, right. No, I so, don't disagree with Nonfront, dude. No, Nonfront, I, I thought Nonfront was going to come here and argue for wealth income inequality. I was ready okay, for everything. Right. Next question. Here we go. His argument is just Who? these particular taxes don't work. Yeah, okay. okay so they might not work oh, in that, that particular way, dude. Great. Okay, so we, we have another question, okay? So this is going to go over to Nonfon. He's going to have the chance to answer this. Judges, if you're watching this, you should be. Um, you need to give a point to whoever gets this right. You know how this works, okay? So whoever gets it right, you give them a point. Nobody gets it right, no points. Okay, so Nonfon, you've got 30 seconds to ask this question. Who was the queen of France during the French Revolution? Queen Victoria. Eh, wrong fucking loser you suck where's my soundboard do you not know that bro? no that's marie the wrong Antoinette. one marie okay. Antoinette. wait well, what did you just say marie internet ding 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 okay here we go brilliant she got her fucking head cut off <laughs> how do you not know that no jesus non front i don't know i don't know her name Okay, so judges, you're gonna give him a point for that one, all right? Uh, you're gonna give Bim Bim a point. Okay, so continue your conversation. Okay, corporate taxes. Corporate yeah, taxes. Yeah, what about them? You think that in America we should cut corporate taxes because there's a lot of data that shows that when we have cut corporate taxes, especially Donald Trump's tax cuts, it's been horrible. I don't think we should cut corporate taxes. I think we should replace them with a destination-based cash flow tax. Okay. See that? Then no argument. Then that's it. <laughs> well, hold on. Wait, hold on. No, we're, we're agreeing. Things. No, no. Because if you do cut them, no, no. If you cut them materialistically right now, it leads to horrible outcomes. And I have, I actually I have the data, brother. Like, I, uh, huh? Okay. What horrible outcomes? No, no, no. It did. What are the horrible? Donald outcomes? Trump cut the corporate tax rate. Donald mm -hmm. Trump cut the corporate tax rate 
from um from 35 percent to 21 percent these corporations who can you say that there's a formation of people right and i agree with you but that doesn't mean shit. who has who has the say in that corporation it's not the fucking worker brother it's the it's the management that if it's a public corporation it's the management cowtailing to the to the profit motive of the fucking of the um whatever the mo the board or it's a private corporation it's the owner right and they're both trying to accumulate as much wealth as they could because they america has oligopolies and monopolies everywhere right in our society so these we, what they did was fucking buy back their stocks at 60 percent do you agree or disagree that some of the burden of corporate taxes falls on workers? It is extremely minimal, dude. Like, not even something that you should bring up, especially with corporations that pay slave labor, dude, like Walmart. Okay, well, most of the things I've read have not suggested it's extremely minimal. They suggest that it's somewhere between 30 and 40%. Do you agree or disagree that some of the burden or corporate taxes is borne on consumers through higher prices? Why not? I, here, this is where I'm going to pin you down, brother. Why does that happen? Because you're increasing the cost of production. Okay. But who gets to decide when, when, who gets to this? Because right now there is corporate uh, um, record-breaking corporate profit, right? That's a fact. Corporations sure. have earned the most money, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm asking you, who makes that decision to increase consumer goods, the, the price of consumer goods? Um, it depends on exactly how elastic the demand is. Usually the market plays some impact and the people who control you the company. Are you kidding me? Just you're, respond you're, to the incentives there. If it's a very inelastic good, then yeah, they, then the firm has price making power. Or if it's or if it's an oligopoly or monopoly, then the firm has more price making power. But it's some combination between the owners of the company and the market feedback structure. Okay, I can grant you that, but at a way higher rate of because we are, I think it's like seventy percent of all our fucking goods her oligop like it's an oligopoly like we have because we're so fucking centralized right it's around 70 in the 70 percent so it is more much more uh uh, uh these motherfucker uh, greedflation than fucking the free hand of fucking markets or whatever right i'm uh, well, sure it's gonna be both but there is there is one that's more than the other it depends how elastic the, the demand for the good is on insulin, I agree with you because it, the firms have price making power because yeah, the demand for insulin with, is very inelastic. You don't wait. But with have food, the demand for food is more this, elastic, there's more readily available substitutes. What? what? Well, uh, no. Okay. Okay. Yes, you have choices to eat of different food, but particular food like eggs, egg, the egg companies are completely almost monopolized, brother. I think there's like two or three fucking companies, right? Okay. That own so most wait, of our wait, I'm just super egg. curious. Do you think when the price of egg goes, price of eggs go down, do you think that means the corporations are being less greedy? Mm, I think that when they, when the, what, what do you mean? When it goes down? How I mean, goes, like, fuck it. Well, I mean, that's funny that you mentioned it. Because here, you guys I'll, can look I'll up. Send you well, no, graph. you want to look at an actual story? You can look like at you, wanna, you know because they, in well, co saying, during like, COVID they raised the, their prices. We can literally see the price of eggs going down. I I, I don't think They're, that you suggest that means the corporations are being less greedy. No, it might be it might be that you actually have like a competent fucking government. I honest I would think that would be it. The FTC actually going after fucking these fucking uh, price gouging fucking companies, and they got scared and they lowered the prices to the normal amount. The market, like you said, the market. That's probably what happened. Lena Khan is actually doing her job. That's why everybody fucking hates her. Um, okay. did they do enough eggs? Can you give me an example of that happening? I'm aware Biden why? did some things to uh, stop. Oh, no, junk I have it, bro. No, they did. Okay. No, no, no. The, like, here, I got it. Uh, oh, talk to another judge, dude. I'll get this story, bro. <laughs> yeah, potato. This is the, no, this no, is the no, nominal no. price of eggs. I'm pretty sure this is the nominal price of eggs, not just the rate of price increases. Okay. Yeah, you guys aren't talking to judges, right? You need to leave my judges alone, all right? They are doing a good job. Thank you for your service, judges. You're all doing a good job. Don't listen to these fucking fools. We're just waiting for... Emmy, what are we... Emmy okay, Metz. Emmy Metz. 
is the president of CEO of, of American Egg Board, which is one of the companies that I was talking about, an organization that promotes eggs. In March 2024, uh, Mets, uh, Fox News egg prices have fluctuated over the past year uh, to the number of factors, including, I don't know, this is, I'm sorry, it was the wrong story. This is like the fuck. I'm trying to get um, where they caught him literally saying, no, we're just inflating the prices. We don't give a fuck. Like they literally caught him, dude. I'll get Do it. You it's okay. Agree or disagree that the demand for eggs is probably relatively elastic? Dumb it down. <laughs> so when I say something's elastic, <laughs> I mean the, the, the demand is highly responsive to price changes so insulin would be example an example of a very inelastic good because no matter how much the price goes up in insulin you're still gonna buy as much insulin as you need uh, because there aren't readily available substitutes for insulin you can't just buy a different brand of insulin or whatever um, and you need insulin to live the demand for other things like jelly beans is relatively elastic because if the price increases in jelly beans you don't Wait, need that's jelly what beans I meant. Okay, that's what, what? I meant. Uh, okay. There, yeah, but yes, eggs you, have you, like differently different available substitutes. Like they have good market feedback mechanisms. Like you, you don't need eggs to live. Okay. That doesn't mean they won't raise their fucking, they won't price gouge, which they have. Because they have a monopoly on that certain food, right? On that on the certain fucking consumption. Yeah, but there are readily, A, if the demand for food is elastic, the, the demand for that type is of thing is elastic anywhere, and has relatively any, available anywhere, substitutes. Anywhere where you're going to critique, where you're going to critique corporations for partaking in these fucking obviously fucking fucked up practices. But I mean, instead of saying just buy another would definitely food, be an example. I this is what you're of, saying. You're, you're saying, you're saying just buy behavior, another but, food. Um, well, you asked me somewhere I would criticize corporations. I, I think the pharmaceutical industry would, would be an example of that, where there's a lot of rent-seeking behaviors by corporations because they they, could, they charge way more here for their drugs than they do in comparable countries like Europe and are still, still able to turn a profit in countries like Europe. Um, but for demand, for goods that are more elastic, I think there's going to be less rent-seeking behavior. On Tuesday, federal jury in Illinois concluded that along with two egg industry trade groups, those are the ones, like the companies below them that move around the eggs. Um, uh, uh, two of the nation's largest egg producers conspired to risk oligopoly shit. Conspired to restrict the availability of eggs to drive up prices. Across the social media, the jury finding was immediately connected to huge spike of price of eggs beginning in the fall of 2022. I knew it. I knew it, brother. I remember this story. Like yeah. the, the, the CEO, they caught him on fucking video talking um, about saying like, "Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. To, we're just yeah, gonna inflate need, our prices." You need to post any of you guys bring up uh, research okay. or articles. I'll, I'll you would do it. a good job to send it into the chat, into the side I'll chat. Okay? Send it. But, but okay, you. just a little, just a little side note uh, to all the retards in the chat who didn't like Joe Biden. Joe, Joe Biden is a Don't good president. Don't start dude. talking to, to you fucking, fucking chat, you imbecile. Right, we've got a question from chat. Here we go. To Bimmy, all right? Bimmy, all right. is PPG in favor of mandatory use of central bank-issued electronic currency to control people's spending habits and avoid tax fraud from the state okay, this budget? This is a right, right wing talking point. He's talking shit about the Fed. Uh, listen, man, it, the Fed is just a tool of the government. If if you can, if, if you put somebody good in the, I, Elizabeth Warren, dude, in the Fed, she will work for you. It's the same thing with the IRS, the same thing with the fucking FBI, same thing with the CIA, right? All these fucking institutions, they have a lot of power. But if, if, if you get a, a if because of the way our, our elections are funded, you get somebody funded by banksters, they're going to go and do the bidding of the banksters, dude. It's not a fucking secret. So you want you want that you want somebody good in the fucking Fed that will work for you, lower interest rates, help you out, etc. Vote for a socialist, dude. There you go. Um, Brilliant. I, okay. Just real quick, the central bank is independent. Its appointments are made by by the president, but there are also private bankers that serve on some of the some of the chapter banks. It's meant to operate as an independent agency. It's only like quasi government um, because it has it has to deal with monetary policy issues. It's never going to be a popular decision to raise interest rates. Um, yeah, you want it to be politically insulated, and it is to a large extent. It, but, yeah. I mean, it is. It is the head. The head of the F, 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 all of our institutions are politically like it's 
it, it's it's wild when somebody gets fired or some shit like that for political reasons, right? Like when Donald Trump fired um the FBI head, uh, yeah, James Comey. Like, it the was FBI like, oh, is a fuck. government agency. The Federal Reserve is not a government agency in the same sense at all. No, but it's, you appoint it's much more you insulated. appoint it's the head of the federal agency. Yeah, you do. You you, you, you appoint yeah, the and, and that person the the tends to Reserve. drive. Yeah, and that person drives. I mean, he's. It, it should be because we live in a democracy, and you should appoint somebody that's gonna, whatever. Well, that argument against this is that politicians have a have what's called a pro-inflationary bias. They're not never gonna want to raise interest rates because it's very politically unpopular to raise interest rates, I especially mean, now that people care so much about mortgage rates. Um, plus, politicians always have the if they were able to control the Fed more directly, they would be able to say, "I'm just gonna print money and give it to everyone," and people would vote for them, not understanding the we're negative doing consequences. We're doing that now, brother. <laughs> we're doing that now. Yeah, but, that's, but the decision is being uh, made by the Federal Open Market Committee, which is just a board made up of economists. It's not necessarily, it's not that influenced by the president. Look, man. Um, you by the have, way, non you, you were supposed to respond to that as well. So, I, what, I mean, do you want I me to repeat the question? I think I... Uh, okay. I mean, he, he's uh, right about what he said, but he's wrong about what he said. Are you going to shut your political... mouth? Can you shut okay. the fuck up? <laughs> right, so is PPG in okay. favor of mandatory use of central bank-issued electronic currency to control people's spending habits and avoid tax fraud from the state budget? I mean, the question is asking you whether PPG is in favor. Okay, so does it does it feel like he would be in favor it's, of that it's non a stupid question. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun, dude. I, I don't know how to answer. I, that. I don't have that strong opinion. It's unbelievable hypothetical. Okay, dude. brilliant. Okay, yeah. well there you go, Hassan. That's it. PPG, the uh, really concerned, included in my question. Okay, thank Wait, you. Wait, can I can I bring in the fucking the the Marxist again? I, I want his take on the Fed. You need to it's shut it's the fuck up on addressing no. my on the, my judges. Leave my fucking judges out of this. Okay, we've got another question. So the question is, uh, to non-fun. What is smoother, Bimmy's forehead or his brain? You fucking little um, bitches. <laughs> listen, I, I really want to say, really say his brain. I really do. But he is voting for Kamala, and you guys won't do that. So I'm going to have to go with his forehead. Like, yeah. Uh, it's let's fucking go. Okay, brilliant. So we got the fucking questions out. Did you see my direct question? I did, Nadar. I did. I, let me get a chance considering this fucker fucked up. What the fuck Thanks is the it, follow. Hassan? You keep telling we'll me. You asked me a question. I I've asked it, it twice to both contestants. Welcome, both of them answered. I don't know what else you want from me. Do you want a fucking blowjob or something? I'm not giving you one. All right? We've got plenty of people in here. They would gladly Kamala, give you Kamala. a blowjob. See? There's one. Kamala Harris is going to win. Kamala Harris is going to win. You guys are fucking stupid. Get in the Kamala train. She picked an actual progressive for once ever. This is this motherfucker it, since like fucking Henry Wallace in the fucking forties is the most vice most progressive vice president in American history. Stop being retarded. Don't vote for the dog eater, dude. Don't um, vote excuse for me, excuse sign. me, Bimmy. What does this have to do with the fucking debate at hand? I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I'm, yeah, I'm you better be fucking so sorry. Nobody cares. Shut your mouth. All right. Engage with your opponent. You need okay. to. Okay. Uh, corporate taxes. Corp when we had high corporate taxes, um, now you can argue that maybe those weren't the things that were affecting, um, whatever the economic growth or the whatever all the good things that were happening during this era. But I mean. Are you gonna argue against it? Because I have my arguments. Cor fucking Donald Trump's cor corporate tax cut. Uh, and by the way, dude, you're a Joe Biden supporter. You know that he raised corporate taxes, right? Yeah. Oh, you don't like that, <laughs> dude? Um, I mean, I am not necessarily against raising. I think he raised the highest marginal rate on capital gains taxes. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a big deal. I am. I probably be slightly in favor of that. The corporate tax stuff. I just don't think corporate tax is a good tax. I, th I think it should be replaced with destination based cash flow tax. But yeah, that's, I just want to. Uh, okay. I, I, See, like, uh, see, but that's like to me that is fantasy shit, right? Because would you do it? Would you do what you're talking about if you didn't have a plan in place? Would you just end all corporate tax rate? I wouldn't fucking do that. It there is evidence that it shows that it's horrible, right? I don't know if I would repeal all corporate taxes if there wasn't a plan in place. That's why, like, the, the debate prompt is raising high corporate taxes is a detriment to economic policy. I'm just against raising them to to high rates. Um, 
Yeah. Like 50%. 50% what I do guess, you think about yes. 50%? I, I, I think there's no yeah. argument they should yeah. go over 35%, which I think is about where they're at. No, they're 21. 21? Okay. Donald Trump, I can, yeah, lowered them. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Corporations avoid taxes anyway with all kinds of loopholes. Effectively, the effective rate that they pay is 15%. So it's well, it's true. Fun. You know, you know, as a lower avoidance, yeah, destination based cash flow tax. Anyway, okay. um, I, no, I agree with what you're saying. I agree with what you're trying to say. I thought you were coming here and argue wealth, income inequality, dude. Like, it's fine. No, it isn't. You're 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 arguing just the tax itself. That's why you, like you don't like the tax. Unrealized yes, games. That I'm not even going to argue the prompt, it. Bimmy. Correct. Okay. I'm not going to argue unrealized games. Wealth tax. I think that we haven't implemented corporate tax. I think you're wrong, brother. And I think history proves you wrong. Okay. Having high corporate taxes doesn't preclude high economic growth. Those two can coexist. That's possible. However, high corporate taxes probably, well, I shouldn't say probably, they decrease investment, which decreases long run growth. That's the argument. Like, I don't know why you say that, brother. Because when when the Trump tax, tax cuts, hold on, when, no 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 no. When Trump when the Trump tax cuts were were implemented, sixty percent of the fucking wealth that the corporations got from their tax cuts, they just bought back their stocks. That's not investment. That's just giving money to shareholders. I I mean. Well, okay. The argument for that is that if these corporations saw a better place to invest, then they would have invested that money because that helps them in the long run. In the short run, inflating your stock the, price doesn't actually do anything. But the victim mentality. Regardless, yeah, the, you've the, already don't don't. How's that victim mentality? That's victim mentality, man. And like that's say it again. Okay, if these corporations saw a better place to put the money, they would have done it. They would have done it that way. It, buybacks are a nice way to reward your shareholders. It brings, it incentivizes more shareholders to come in at some point because they feel confident that the stock price will rise. If they saw a place to expand to actually invest, they would have done that because that is what's most beneficial for their long run growth. This That's this mindset that you buybacks. have, do you know that it leads? Do you know that it leads to the bottom of? it's it's the race to the bottom right you, you don't know that like when what you is, when you chase you're talking about chasing profit no matter what dude right that's what you basically said these investors these investors will not this these investors will not invest in this company because or, or wherever the, the company's in california right or whatever the united states you have high corporate tax rate then these investors will not invest then don't invest dude why do you have to tell tell brother capital you don't have to tell tell to these cocksuckers because if there's profit to make if your argument if that if there's profit to make there's always going to be a person there's always going to be a person trying to make money that's how capitalism works I when you tell tell in to your them, magical world okay. decreasing the amount of financial capital has no negative effects it somehow doesn't negatively affect long run growth but in the real world if you decrease the amount of financial <laughs> capital available you decrease investment you decrease the entrepreneurship you decrease all these things which end up harming <laughs> long run growth it, you're wrong about the entrepreneurship bullshit by the way what do you mean higher again dude historically wrong i'm not gonna do this i'm not oh gonna my go God. into history I mean, well, because you're wrong because when we had a higher tax rate, you had the most small Wait, businesses. Do you agree? Do you agree? Or you had a boom, that an extreme boom of small businesses, brother. The record, the actual record, dude. So you're that what you just said right now is completely wrong. You, you you're cowtailing to a couple of capitalists, brother. They're not. What is this like? It's victim okay. mentality, dude. Two things. One, do you agree or disagree that decreasing the amount of financial capital decreases the amount of startups that can succeed? That can succeed. Uh, succeed? Well, under our system right now, you can make that argument. But there are many factors in our society that can change that. You can subsidize. You can subsidize working people. You can give us. You know why we had the, the most economic, uh, uh, the most startups. Uh, I mean, it's not startups, but fucking um, small business boom in during the 1950s. It was the GI Bill of Rights. There was a lot of people who went to war, and they are subsidized their college housing. Uh, loans that they take out, etc., and they, they, what they did with that fucking wealth, right? Some said it's just wealth. Give it to you, dude. You, they, they started businesses. 
So there's many ways to kill to to, to, to many other ways to then just kill tell to your masters, dude. I don't get it. Okay. Do you agree or disagree that decreasing the after tax return of, of investment discourages that investment? Into a like Look, you're like pinning me down to argue free market fucking talking points. If you okay in in our current market system, yes, dude. Yes, if you if there's no other factor that can intervene, then yes. Okay, hold on. Let me write that down. After tax return. Okay, while you're on that, or do you have anything else to? I add on to this? Is no, we, Potato King is done. He's already asked this question. The next judge, the last judge is coming up. He's going to be the pussy. last to ask his question. So if you guys are done wrapping this section up, um, then sorry, we're dude, but my, in... my my nephews are here, and I gotta keep an eye on them. Like I'm the only one here, so I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Go. Oh, he's already gone. Why am I a distraction? I'm muted. I don't know, man. I don't know. He just loves you so much. I don't know what it is. He is... He's infatuated with you. Regarding Warren, wealth, tax plan... Well, how's it going, non-fun? Um, I mean, it's going... It's going good, I think, yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's better than my debate with him. At, at this point, I was already basically pulling my hair out. So I can't yeah. blame you. I can't blame you. You seem like you're you're holding up well. It seems like you came prepared today. How long have you yeah. been studying for this? Um, I think I think I did like two days of actual reading, and that's it. I should like not that. like back to back. No, not back to back because I've been lazy. <laughs> I haven't I haven't oh, even okay. been editing my fucking YouTube videos, dude. <laughs> Wait, you edit YouTube videos? Holy shit. Yeah, for my channel, yeah. Last time I posted a video was probably like a month and a half ago. That shit's wild. Holy fuck. The boss. I think one of the various breaks would be an okay time to ask my question. But you're the boss. What question? Oh, the timed question? Oh, right. Yeah, true. We could. But we're going to bring in Stranger. He's going to ask his last question and then... Timed questions will come at the end, yeah. No worries, man. I, I I haven't forgotten. Wait, have I got... Yeah, I've got one of you. To know i at the end of the debate. Okay, yeah, I've got it. I've got it in front of me. Um, I did follow non-fun. Let's see where it goes. Okay, good. Go ahead and follow non-fun. Non-fun's uh, gay. You're gay? Ah. Um, okay, right. Gay. So, stranger, uh, get your ass in here, boy. And uh, you've got a question to ask the debaters. And once again, whether they choose to continue the conversation down that line, they can do so. So go ahead, stranger. How is wealth tax different from income tax? I uh, who are you asking? Are you asking both of us? Yeah, non-fun, go ahead first. Okay, income tax is just a tax on your taxable income, the amount of like regular dollars you bring home. A wealth tax is taxed on your net assets. So that includes all the stocks you own, it includes all the homes you own, it includes all of these assets that you own, it includes even the businesses you own. You could, in theory, exempt them. Some European countries exempt them. Um, it includes everything you own. It's your total net worth. Um, income tax is just the normal, everyday, regular salary that you bring home. This is why a bunch of CEOs take like $1 salaries and then get paid in stock because they're only taxed on that $1 as, as their salary. That's their only taxable income. And the rest of this is just stocks that, um, that are then taxed only when they realize the capital gains on them, which usually they don't realize them. They wait till they die. <laughs> okay, Bimmy. There isn't, dude. It, a wealth tax is 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 a tax on wealth, it, whether it comes to income or the way non front set. That's it's. I mean, it's in the fucking description, brother. Wealth tax. It only goes to the wealthy, whether you accumulate it through wealth or through having your money in in stocks. Okay, this is your last chance to engage with one another on this topic, and then you can take it wherever you want. Yeah. Non-fun, do you have anything to reply to him? Uh, on that, no. No. Okay, so you guys have pretty much killed the, the horse already. What is the saying? Don't beat a dead horse? Yeah, okay, brilliant. Um, right. Are talking about, like, tra trade or whatever? No, we'll do that yes, later. Trade. You... 
Oh, all right. I, I don't care wait, wait. Right one now, that you probably could beat me. One that you could probably uh, let let real fast, because this one I don't care to debate. But we could do it just just to kill time, for for to, for the two hour don't mark. Don't worry about uh, killing time. We've got questions and everything. Yeah. If yeah. you guys are like, yeah. If what is it? Not non non profit. Uh, what do they call? If you have um, if you have further questions and you want to ask us. each other, if you want to ask each other more questions or like engage with one another, feel free to do so. The floor is still open. Um, we will be going to time questions shortly, though. So, if you're done, we uh, can just go to time questions. Uh, it's up to non friend, whatever he wants. Um, I mean, I'm I'm ready for closings. If we there are time questions, I guess. Let's do it. Closings. Yep, yep. We will do uh, time questions, and then we'll go to the closings. Yep. Uh, Bimmy, you okay with that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Right. So. We're gonna give uh, up to, okay, non-fun, just give us your closing statements. Okay, during this debate, PPG has conceded to a few different things. Wealth taxes increased the incentive for capital flight. His only evidence, evidence against that was that in Massachusetts, they raised the top marginal rate on income, which is not a wealth tax, it's a income tax. <laughs> um, but, but income tax taxes people less than, um, less than a wealth tax does because the wealth tax is, is yearly and it stops you money from compounding and it's a higher percentage of your income. If you if you get like a 5% return on investments every year, but your wealth but the wealth tax is 3%, effectively 60% of your income is being taxed. He agreed that wealth taxes have higher avoidance. He agreed that wealth taxes decrease investment, wealth and corporate taxes, I believe he said decrease investment, but magically he believes that doesn't decrease GDP. Um, he agreed that decreasing financial capital decreases the number of startups that succeed. And he said that decreasing after or decreasing the after tax return on investment decreases the number of people willing to make that investment. We didn't get super heavy into the revenue side, but he did agree to all these administrative difficulties with wealth taxes and that wealth taxes were uh, harder to avoid. So I would assume that he would concede that at least um, that wealth taxes are not going to be a super great effective um, effective mechanism for raising revenue. Um, I think all of these things make wealth taxes uh, not worth not worth their economic cost. Uh, he would he conceded on unrealized gains taxes, corporate taxation. He mentioned he agreed with many of these things that they decrease investment and some of the incidents falls on in workers. He mentioned that the incidents falls on in workers as well as um, consumers for higher prices. Um, I think both of those make the corp uh, increase in corporate taxes not worth the economic cost. Um, yeah, that's um, that's where I'm at. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, non Um that was, uh, that was one way to put Okay. He said that I didn't agree. Uh, uh, well, I, I said, well, the reason we haven't... The, now, as of now, we, um, um, wealth of flight is, has been debunked. It's a myth. It's a myth. But you, of course, you have marginal wealth flight. But that's bullshit. Well, you're 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 passing an economic whatever tax raise or whatever, and the net income is that they don't leave. The re we haven't done a wealth tax in America, dude. We haven't done one, so we don't know. I didn't fucking say that. I didn't say what he just said. Anyway, um, corporate taxes. I didn't concede shit, dude. I said there, there. Of course, if you tax corporations because of the power structure of the corporation, you're gonna have the workers be affected, right? And they, and he fucking agreed that because we have oligopolies, uh, monopolies or oligopolies in our society, they get to raise their prices, dude. This is the victim mentality. Well, if we if we raise your prices, we'll just put it on the consumer. That's you know what you do, you oh, price control. Price control, which has worked in America, by the way, dude, right? So I don't know what the fuck it, we could have gotten revenue. I like revenue. We, we, we didn't get to it, uh, whatever. Uh, cap, um, unrealized gains uh, is something that I honestly didn't know about, so I wasn't even going to date it. Uh, but the corporate tax, the corporate tax, you can't just get rid of it in America. You can't, brother. You can't. And now he might disagree that it's a bad tax. Well, history proves you wrong. And when when you lower the corporate tax rate, then you have horrible outcomes. And I brought up the the Trump tax cuts, dude, which have had horrible outcomes in America materialistically, dude. If you do it now, you would have you would have stock buybacks, wealth attack, wealth income inequality. And then his argument was that well, those people who the the shareholders they get to put their money, even if you try to implement an economic uh, policy like. 
Uh, no more stock buybacks. Well, they're just going to leave. That's his argument. It's a victim mentality, dude. It's the victim mentality. Don't do it because we're just going to go somewhere else. You don't cowtail to these people, bro. <laughs> you don't. This is stupid. You. This is a race to the bottom. This is trickle down economics, dude. You don't do this. This has been debunked. This this art this fucking uh, type of economic system has been debunked. Anyway, was it? Okay, right. I don't know what we're so doing trickle down economics. Um, I didn't even mention the Laffer curve once, bro. But that, well, you're 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 effectively arguing for trickle down economics, dude. Definitely. You, like I, when you I, say I just, that you just, should cal cal tail for the, that's what you mean. You mean that well, you want this investment? They're not going to invest. That's they're trickling down upon you. If okay. you fucking... Just real quick, it, <laughs> it should be doing? noted. That wealth taxes are also taxes on unrealized gains. Wealth taxes tax people's unrealized gains. Secondly, uh, Bimmy, are you in favor of rent control? Uh, rent control by itself? No. This is the okay. problem okay. with the rent control by itself. It's is a bandage. But if you put rent control with like public housing, yes, and Vienna proves it. Vienna, we have evidence. <laughs> Vienna has rent control and public housing, which has been a complete success. They're one of the most affordable big cities in the world. So I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, we can have another one about is... rent control, brother. <sighs> I don't. Okay, let's just. Who cares? The judges, dude. We'll talk I, about I, that some other time. Just let it. Just let it go to the judges or the questions or whatever. Yeah. No, tell us, non fun I'm curious. Well, I mean, I was just proving that he doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, crowding out is basically hey, when what? government government investment crowds out. It's it slows down. Um. Uh, private investment. So the argument is, it doing social housing will um, will crowd out private spending and housing construction. There's empirical data to back this up. In France, one one unit of social housing crowded out two units of private housing. So although one unit of social housing was built, if that government money wasn't used to build housing, essentially bidding away resources from private housing companies, there would have actually been two houses, um, ha housing uh, dwellings built. You know what's worse? Being fucking homeless, dude. If you cowtail to the private industry, you're gonna you are gonna have massive homelessness like America, dude. I would okay. rather have the Vienna model, dude. Wait, no, and you brought up a, you, an extremely what I just said. big instance. Wait, hold on, hold on. What I, I understand exactly what you just said, dude. You, you, so you, it. The government is outbidding the fucking private, the private, uh, whatever. So you're not gonna have innovation or whatever the fuck you're talking about, right? Sure, but you know what people care about? People, people, like. In the majority of people just having fucking housing, dude. So good, fuck it, get rid of the private sector. Yeah, but you understand you're <laughs> reducing the supply of housing with this, right? Because you're crowding no, out private no. housing investment. I why, just said why, why in this you, in what? this example, Wait. one one social house crowded out You gave out me an extremely cherry pick. I know you gave me an extremely cherry pick. It's not like an extreme. I mean, we can probably pull up the study if we want I to. I could give but. you Vienna. I could give you Finland, right? Or I could give you, you know what? I could give you the Soviet Union, brother. <laughs> It's the Soviet Union just had pure public housing and there was very little to no homelessness, dude. What is the point of housing? It's just a fucking happy house, right? The more you cowtail, this is the victim mentality, brother. If you cowtail to the private industry, you're going to have 500 to 600,000 homeless people in America, dude. Great. That's what you want? I don't want that, brother. I don't advocate for homeless people. I ever okay, why... advocate for people having housing. Why wouldn't we, A, institute a land value tax, and B, subsidize the development of affordable housing? Because be, you, that happens in America now, dude. We, we have, have like non-profit fucking groups. No, no, no. We don't have that. But you're, what you're talking about, subsidize, uh, using subsidies like non-profits and say, oh, we're going to build housing. Not non-profit. It's complete government dog shit. We pay companies that, to build affordable housing. You, you, Which, to an extent, I think okay. we actually do, but... We do! We do! We literally do. It doesn't work. You know what happens? What happens, dude? Well, it, it depends on exactly what program. What um, happens when you the, give a private company money, dude? <laughs> like, so, the big issue right <laughs> now is that um, some programs, I believe, have have them have companies do it on a cost plus basis. So, companies get paid to build affordable homes on a on a, on a on a on the amount that they spend to build the home plus an extra 10% as their profit, right? The issue with this is that companies will artificially inflate the price of the construction and then uh, just collect the extra collect the extra profit. It's guaranteed money. That's what happens when you when you when you have, have something have, like we should have companies compete for contracts that build affor affordable homes. So companies are actually competing. Every, for every single low. solution that you have is in the private sector, dude. 
you can why don't we just get rid of the fucking private market dude when it comes to housing housing is a it's a it's 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 a living issue brother it's something that we all need right to survive why do we need to have a private fucking industry for fucking housing because house because private companies typically have better incentives to reduce cost wait what <laughs> what Wait, if you have a society with with housing for all, dude, and you have you, you reduce costs, how? The government does not necessarily have a incentive to reduce costs. They operate super efficiently because they're not penalized for being unprofitable. Private companies are penalized oh, for being yeah. unprofitable or operating inefficiently. So that's the reason that private companies are typically more efficient there. Okay, brilliant. You know okay. who disagrees well, with you? The fucking the the uh, oh, the yeah. um, Chomsky, the Chomsky. US the USSBS. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we we yeah. subsidize that, but yeah, you, non, also according to non according to non we he wants to give he wants to it is a state monopoly, sure. But according to non front he wants to give it the while well, you receive your mail if you're an American to fucking Amazon because it produces Did less cost and it's more efficient and blah, blah, blah. that's basically what you just said about housing, brother. No, no, it doesn't actually do. I don't know. What the, we can have another debate about housing actually. Okay. I'm all, yes. All housing. Yes. Exactly. Let's do it. We, we can have another Holy debate about shit. housing. No, but he says something stupid because okay. the government doesn't do things for profit. This is okay. stupid. Okay. He was all completely right. lying. I'm not here to argue. All right, awesome. Okay. Given that we have established, okay, so this is to non fun right? Um, given that we have established a wealth tax and a state tax prompt capital flight, under your scheme of political systems, how would you reduce inequality with minimal impact to economy in one policy? In one policy, yes. it would probably be yes. a land value tax, and also I don't, I don't think estate taxes increase capital flight that much because they because you they only are taxed when you die, and it's lower than other taxes. Um, so I don't think estate taxes necessarily increase capital flight, but uh, it would it'd have to be a land value tax because the rich disproportionately own land, and I believe we should tax economic rents from land. And the supply of land is perfectly inelastic, so it doesn't really have any distortionary effects, and it incentivizes the building of affordable housing because if you're taxed on the value of land, you are incentivized to use the land most productively. Therefore, you want to build as many homes as possible on that land to, to uh, be able to afford the tax on that land. Yeah. Okay, uh, Bimmy, you can also respond if you want. Oh, Bimmy's chair can respond. What say you, bingo? I heard you had a long travel from a distant place far away where people gather and they sit and play um, a game called bingo. It's a game for those who don't know. It's where you've got like a room Okay, and in that room there are like a lot of people and they all sit around. They usually consist of like um, f 50 to like 80 year olds or 90 even and a couple of retards will probably be there as well on occasion. And usually what will happen is there will be somebody at the front of it and they will be spinning a wheel and then balls like rotate and then they get spat out and then you have to match the numbers and then you go once you match all of them you go bingo you're gay okay He's brilliant out the numbers okay no. so we've got one more question and then we're going to take it over to the judges okay so does ppg this is to both mm -hmm. of you does ppg deserve to be punished by the judges for every moment he deliberately conflates wealth tax with income tax it's Again, dude. Again, what do you think? Tax, what only you? the tax wealthy. Massachusetts talks about, calls it a wealth tax. It was given to the people of Massachusetts as a wealth tax. It's just a definition. FDR's wealth tax in the 1930s, if you want to play rank, right, was a wealth on income. It was a wealth on income because that's how they, it was just on the wealthy itself, guys. On the wealthy, on the very wealthy. Back then, we were much a much more income-based society. Now we're different. Saw, Our society you, has changed. Zuckman? But it doesn't you're take away Saeed from Zuckman, being only affecting the wealthy. I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand this shit. There you go, Hassan. You have your answer. You wanted to know all this time. Non-fun. Go ahead. 
Um, I mean, I, I, if I was judging, I, I don't know if I would punish him, but I would give me uh, points for claim proven uh, on the income versus wealth tax every time that happened. <laughs> Uh, do I get okay. to answer? Please, somebody let sure. me answer. Wait, can I? Yes, Are you sure about I that, hereby Jimmy? give you permission sure. to okay. answer. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Fuck it. Don't do it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Right. So let's go over to judges. Let's go over to judges. Um. Yeah. So judges, you're not muted. Feel free to come and not come like oh, that. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 let's let me guess, no, let me guess Nader's number. Time. Not that type of coming, Nader, put it away. We've talked about this. Okay, brilliant. So it's not, I've, these are the wrong scores, guys. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna give me non fond score. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead and add the bonus points, judges. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to add two points to whoever you feel represented their overall position in the debate the best. Okay. So either two to non fun or two to Bimmy. And then once you're ready, you have your final score. Go ahead and give me non fun score, all of you. First, first non fun, then Bimmy. Okay. So. Um, who's ready? Any one of you? All right, all right. I all right, have, Nader. Uh, I have a, a score for non fun at an 18. 18? That's and pretty Bimmy? low, man. Bimmy? Yeah, and Bimmy? I Zero. have a score for Bimmy of three. <laughs> wow, thank you, Nader. <laughs> Holy shit, three, a whole three points. Holy fuck. Peter is a conservative brother. All right, that's, can the, we say? that's the excuse. Okay, brilliant. Right, so let's take over to Stranger. Stranger, go ahead. So I, uh, I gave non fun a score of 22. That's a lot. I think that's game. Yeah. And Bimmy? <laughs> and I gave Bimmy a score of 11. Thank you. Ooh. Sheesh. Bimmy, what did you do, motherfucker? Yeah. Holy I lost shit. This turbo, you dude. Suck. <laughs> You're so bad at this turning game. I lost this okay, turbo. Bimmy, I, I, knew, I was Bimmy. coming okay. in here. I, you you to to I, I was gonna come in. <laughs> I was gonna come into this shit. I was like, I, the list is, the, I wasn't worrying about the debate. I just, right. I was wanted. You know what? I'm gonna have anyway. something to say. I'm gonna have something to say at the end of it. But let's go no, ahead. No, let's I want to hear. No, hear it. no, no, no. Let's put potato. Potato, go ahead. Okay, so I want to clarify. I, despite the fact that I'm a Marxist, I came in here as a neutral perspective. Um, for Bimmy, no, I non gave non fun first. Non fun for, for non fun. Um, yeah. I gave them a ten. A ten. Okay. And then for Bimmy. Bimmy came out with a four. Holy shit! By unanimous good. decision, non fun is the winner. Holy fuck! Okay, so Wait, that's no, two. I, I actually want to hear points. from Potato though, because but I want to see what Potato goes, disagree with. Okay, what I said. Let, let them go. I'll say it at the end. Okay, go ahead, guys. Judges, give your clarification for why Honestly, you scored the way you did. Most of the reason that Bimmy lost so many points was. I did exactly what was suggested the entire time. Every time he mischaracterized wealth tax for income tax, tax, I deducted a point getting... for being bad. Same oh my God. Same. Or point not proven. I'm sorry, not bad. Guys, yeah. not guys, guys, that definition is wrong. No, and I said, that, if you want no, to no it's not. It's wrong. Not. That is literally yes, the definition. Yes, it is. That is the definition is by of a wealth tax. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wealth tax does not mean wealthy tax. They're two different yeah. things. <laughs> I'm just sending you a picture of my dick, Nader. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you've got I hope you've got a high res camera because I'm gonna have to zoom in really hard on that bitch. <laughs> What's smoother, <laughs> your dick, your brain, or that your That better head? be like a 30 megapixel camera, bro. 
Wow. Anyway. Okay, I want to say that before someone's talking. So this is a Bimmy. I, I feel like. Wait, I what happened like to the fucking bus? Fuck him. Who cares? I feel like the thing with um, the wealth tax thing mm -hmm. is. So okay, so we have marginal tax brackets, right? In in uh, countries that Canada. actually matter. Yeah, in in most countries that are actually doing good shit, right? So you have marginal well, tax. Why am I zooming into what? You have marginal oh, tax brackets. Yeah, true. Places. Why are you zooming in? Yeah, yeah. And so why you want to see that? If you have, do. do we? Yeah, you have marginal <laughs> tax brackets. Yeah. Uh, okay. You, yeah. You earn more money. You earn no, 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 more we money. Do. You pay more taxes. Yeah. Okay, so the issue here, the thing with the, yeah, progressive, exactly. So with income tax versus wealth tax, What's this is good? how What's I good? feel Welcome about back, it. Sergeant. You know, hopefully this makes sense. Welcome back. Is that if you are making you're not 999, even, are you in the vertical chat, you're in the you're not uh, in vertical year, chat. <laughs> right? And then mm -hmm. you make $1 more. Okay, you get into. Listen, the I'm just saying, dollars, Vert Gang usually is on top, on top in terms tax. of like okay, just views. Fine. That's okay. Like, there's exposed, nothing. Well, yeah. You know, in terms that, of like the amount of views I get, but you know, Vert Gang is on top. So, like, I love my Vert Gang people. A year, and your uh, investment stocks bring your brings your wealth up to. $1 million. I don't want to do you this in debate. Capital more. flight is the thing I'm least level. worried about. Um, when I'm going to send a to link taxes, to but... the OG wealth tax <laughs> so you guys don't think that I'm lying to you. It's right there on the fucking. Um, you guys can look well, at that, it. <clears throat> well, that's what the difference is between a wealth tax and income tax, right? If you hit the marginal bracket, not on the gang using my laptop right now. Imagine Vertal on the new income. Income. Oh, It's income, valid. But on the new income, the higher income. But. He, so when you say that it's a it's a wealth Ooh. tax, like you should that should have been under uh, unrealized gains. Like that's that's what well, I would have wealth said tax, because wealth it's tax it's something new in our economy that didn't exist in history, right? A wealth tax could be on unrealized gains, but a wealth tax is more on like your property, right? A wealth tax is well, more on like the things you have that are worth money and not on the income that you make at your you know job or whatever because the, yeah. so there are different society. there are different tax I, bases I for wealth saying. taxes usually a wealth tax is levied on your net assets just the value of everything you own yeah now, different countries have different exemptions for example like most of the european countries exclude private businesses from the wealth tax because they don't want to tax the value of your business um yeah. twice basically because they tax it one for like corporate taxes and one for the wealth tax taxes. It twice. Um, yeah. yeah. So in theory, you could exclude like your stock portfolio. And I'm sure some of them probably do. Um, but like yeah. wealth taxes do usually include the value of your stocks, which by taxing that yearly, you are taxing the unrealized gains of those stocks. That's what you're doing. But if you disagree with any of this stuff, you can tell me in the comments. I do ask if that if you enjoyed the video, you just you leave a like and you subscribe to watch more stuff like this. Yeah, thank you all for watching.